Okay, welcome back. So, um, we have a combo problem from the Barrow American Olympia today, where, uh, right, let's see what's up. So, you have this, um, let, let me draw n equals 3, I think. Uh, mm, yeah. So, you, you have the n plus 1 by n plus 1 read of dots. So it's it's really n plus one by n plus one, but I think the prompt student wants to make it clear like how square root two works, and I want to draw a path on this that um, maximizes the number of vertices. Maximizes the number of square root two. Plane steps. Uh, maybe I actually want to do a smaller end first, actually. So if I do n equals 2, it's just. Dun, 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 dun. So there's a parity obstruction where I can't, if when I go from, if I checkerboard the dots. Um, square root 2 means that I can only hit things with a certain parity. So there's a parity obstruction, there's also a corner obstruction where um, hmm. Right, let me just draw some crap. I feel like other than the corner obstruction and the parity obstruction, there's not that many obstructions. Also, the, I guess depending on the parity of them, the corners might be the same color or they might be different. Um. Uh, 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 I don't like this. Um, actually, I think the smaller end are hard to think about because you get screwed over more by the corners. Parity obstruction. Um, basically, you might, like on this thing, you can checkerboard. Um, let me do this. Uh, done, done. So if you confine yourselves to moves of length screwed to, then you can only visit up to half the cells at once. Um, yeah. And I should be able to get a pretty good path on these, I think, that hits almost everything. Hmm, that's actually really bad. I want like a single path to go through all the yellow things, but I can't do it for n equals 3. However, can I do it for... Other? Because I feel like the small cases are screwing me over harder than the big cases would. Like, I'm running into obstructions for small end that don't feel like they should be there for large end. So, let's, let me try a bigger example. So, let's highlight, um... Okay, so... This is forest. This is forest. Oh, no, actually I was wrong. Um hmm, hmm,
If this is what's going on, the answer might actually grow pretty quickly in terms of N. Like, basically the corners are causing me issues, right? Because... So the ones that are on the side... Yeah, so I can get everything other than the corners in one shot. N squared works. What do you mean N squared? Oh, um... See, I've been counting the number of paths, not even the number of moves. Uh... I, I believe that. that. That sounds right. I feel- I just feel like I should be able to do better. So this is a trajectory that gets everything except... The corners. And that's about as well as you're gonna do. Because there's- the problem is this cell here, and this cell here, um... Like, that, that cell is connected pretty fragilely to, to, uh, like, these three neighbors. And if you, whichever one isn't connected to the green cell can't really connect to anything else. Um... So, like... I guess my question, I, what I'm trying to think is like... What's the number of straight diagonal paths I can get? Like, do I think the answer is like... Linear in N or bounded in N? I feel like it shouldn't get larger as N increases, but I'm less confident in this than I was earlier. Yeah, N squared works, I agree. Um, wait. But you can definitely do better, right? Even for n equals 2, you can kind of... You can get up to 2. Um, hmm. I feel like I picked a shitty path, because this one doesn't generalize very well. Like, I wanted something a little more regular, right? <sighs> This one is so irregular that... Okay, so I know that I'm going to have to leave off at least two vertices, and that these two vertices won't be close to each other. So... Yeah, th this is a better generalization, because this is... You can... It's obvious how to generalize this, this, and you can get everything... That's not a corner by doing this. At least for this parative n. I don't know, if n is odd, do I run into problems? Okay, or not n is odd, n is even. Uh, you know, I'm gonna worry about that later. I wanna at least get this, this parity out. So this is a path from cell next to corner to cell next to corner. And then I can go to...
Oh, crap. Uh, yeah, I feel like it should not grow. At least for the even case, it shouldn't grow linearly in it, I think. Or when there's a... Wait, does this path not work for larger? Wait, does it not? Really? Uh, Alright, let me, let me draw a bigger grid. this line to one how do I use it Okay, most jank grid ever. <laughs> Alright, and then here's the targets. Dun, dun, dun. Oh wait, no, this is the wrong parody. Uh, crap. Crap, 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 crap. Uh... Oh yeah, this is the bad case, uh, or the, the less symmetric case. Oh, come on. Okay, much better. Okay, let's set up the targets. Uh, fuck, this is the opposite convention from before. I want it to be consistent. Yeah, I think the generalization is fine. Uh, wait, maybe it's not fine. Uh, shit. Shit. 
shit. Yeah, no, that's not gonna work. Um, hmm. Hmm. It's the freaking edges that are really killing me. Because those edges are of the. If you want those edges to be part of degree two, it forces a lot of the grid out. Yeah, the, the answer might actually... Can't you get all two n squared? You can get, You don't have to get each parity consecutively. Wait, what do you mean? How do you get two n squared? The path is only like n squared things long-ish, right? Like the path is length, total length, um... N plus one, all squared minus one. So, yeah, there's th two n squared doesn't make sense. That's longer. That's longer than the length of the path. Um. Yeah, you can get n squared if you take all the diagonal ones. I really don't know how I feel about that. Is that? Because that construction has a lot of... Um... Well, it's wrong for n equals two, 1, first of all, just because n equals 1. But that might be an edge case. Um... I wonder if I should checkerboard the call the thing twice. Like I could checkerboard the yellow dots. Um but, but the problem is there's the same number of each type, so that doesn't do me that much. Um well actually, hang on, maybe it does. Uh <laughs> Oh, this sucks. Oh, no. Uh... <laughs> uh... 
Oh god, no! <laughs> yeah, because the problem is like, you have this thing now. Yeah, so I think the number of obstructions will go actually go linearly in n, which means that n square like the answer is not completely impossible now. Um, which is not good actually for me. <laughs> Okay, so let me introduce some terminology. Um, block zigzag definition. A zigzag is a path consisting of only root two steps. And basically what I'm trying to f figure out is what's the minimum number of zigzags needed to cover all the cells. And I thought the answer would not grow in N, but it does look like it's growing like linearly in N. Um, basically because there's just these blocks of things that can't have... I mean, after you take out this green thing, you have another copy basically, right? Like... Uh, like, it's basically a copy of the same grid, but with the dimensions strung by four each.
So here's the th here's the thing, okay? Among if I look at these sixteen cells, um, there must be some degree one. So suppose I have a partition of the yellow of the yellow intersections in twos. <laughs> Wait, are you serious? Oh. Okay, thank you, Warren. Yes, you're right. I've literally done this problem before, but rotated 45 degrees. Wow. Okay, so that's... So this is actually the hard case then. Does that mean the other case is easy and you can just get everything? If I do like... So this, this was n equals... 9. Let me do like n equals... 4. Wait, oh, wait, what is the optimal... So in this thing, um... Five. I need five... So Yusmo 2008 says that in N equals nine, I need at least five things to cover all the yellow. Guys. Um, which I can... Let me just draw that and see what it looks like.
Yeah, for so five, yeah, four of one parity and five. Oh wait, is it that lopsided? Uh. Oh, it is that lopsided. Ah, yeah, okay. Yeah, at least five needed. And then, what about the other twelve? Is it also lopsided? That's less lopsided. Um... In fact, you can actually get them all in one. I don't think that generalizes. I... No, actually, it... Uh, eh, eh. If I repeat the proof of the USMA problem here, I should get some bound, right? I don't know what that bound is, so... something You know, I really need to figure out how to just auto-draw a grid. That seems like it would be a useful thing to be able to do. Actually, what happens if I just do the greedy thing? Does it just work? Oh, it just works. This is N equals 8. Don't you need four paths on the set of 12 to go in between the five paths? Oh, you're right. Yeah, so, okay. It doesn't matter that... The, okay, you're, you're correct, actually. It doesn't matter that I have this single zigzag that looks like this. Um, try n equals 2. I think just covering with zigzags is not sufficient. I agree it's not necessarily sufficient, however, I thought it would be probably good enough because, like... Okay, this is an even thing, so... So what are the bounds? So I need at least three paths on the yellow.
I see what you're okay. I see what you mean, which is like you need about the same number of zigzags because the alternate zigzag type colors. Uh, but like, I don't know. I feel like at this point, there's so much constraint that it doesn't really matter what I... I want to eat those words. <sighs> okay, so I, I need at least three zigzags on the... Oh, Jesus Christ. I need at least three zigzags on the yellow. Um, that's up to more, right? So you need at least uh, you need a yellow zigzag, a yellow zigzag, a yellow zigzag, uh, green zigzag, yeah. Yeah, that should be optimal for n equals. C. Wow, this is a barrel five. <laughs> There's like. There's cases, and one of the cases is a use of O3. And this is Ibero 5 now? Oh my god. Yeah, like the- you'll, you'll get a bound on yellow zigzags in both cases, and I think that bound should be, like, just the bound. I don't think you'll be able to ever do better than that. Um... Well, let me kill off the odd case just completely now, just because I can. Uh, because what you do is you, uh... Shit. Uh... Shit. Uh, shit. No, 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 no. No, not good, not good, not good. Um... Oh crap, do I need to pick a different partition? Uh... up here. That's not where I need to end up. That's not where I want to end up. Um, oh god. Uh... Ah, uh, man, I can't even get the anode case. Just do DNA on the... What's DNA stand for? On the odd columns. <laughs> Draw... 
Draw DNA. Okay. <laughs> uh. So you're saying I should. Uh, I guess that will work. Wait, yeah, that's not where I want to go. Um, odd columns, like. You can use different... oh. Right, that is true. <laughs> uh... yeah, let's do that, okay. Right, so this... Ugh. I keep forgetting the Yusuma problem has like a billion equality cases. This is probably what I would- okay, now the blue one is the one that I'm used to. Uh. No, wait, that, that doesn't work. Hang on, what? Wait, wait, why, why am I- why am I not getting this? Can I just do this? That should work, right? Now the endpoints actually are close to each other for everything. Oh, oh man, they, they made me really work for this. One, two, three, yeah, and this is best possible because the... Oh, that's what they meant by DNA. Oh, <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> I, I get it now. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, I just have them in the same direction. Okay, fine. Yeah, so this is the best possible, because you need at least five paths on the yellow dots and five paths on the green dots, and then this will get it. Okay, fine, fine. Okay, and then, is this also best possible for... Well, even case is weird. Uh, uh, right, so let me go back to here. So I don't care about this red stuff, that doesn't matter. What I want is I want like, uh... I look at the, I want to look at the yellow dots, that's the ones I care about. Um... So in this, there are, um, there's going to be 25 yellow dots and 16, or 25 yellow dots in odd rows and 9 yellow dots in, or not 9, 16. So that means that I will always need at least a lot. Um, <laughs> wait, that's so many. Wait, that's that's like that's an MC number. Is that a high?
Wait, okay, so it, what, what did I say? There's 25 odd yellow and 16 even yellow. Uh, so I need at least nine paths. I need that many? Okay, so the answer is really big one. Okay, well in that case I'm just gonna use the diagonals, right? I just I just literally go like this. I don't need to be tricky about it, because that bound is so bad that like you can do anything. And then I guess for then I just interpolate them, right? So the green ones look like that. Pet the cat bow. <laughs> And that's optimal because this is. Oh lord. So. Yeah, these answers actually differ a lot. Um. Okay. <coughs> Easy. <laughs> <coughs> Only if you've literally seen the hardest case before, because it's a freaking Yusuma 3. Yeah, I think once like someone pointed out it was the Yusuma 3, I was like, okay, we got this. We just need to work out the details. Uh, before that, I didn't think I would need to... Because the Yusuma 3 argument is actually genuinely tricky, I think. Um, like there's a global argument that involves this very special coloring and there's a local argument that's more pedestrian but took me like a train ride to come up with. I guess it's like the local argument is not that fancy but it takes some effort to execute. Um, like that was more effort than I was expecting for like a single case embedded inside an Ibero 5. I wasn't prepared for that. I was just like, I feel like I should be just be able to run it over. And no, you can't, because it's like Yusuma 2003. Um, alright. Well, that happened. Um. This is going to be real fun to write up. The N equals 9 picture is going to be rotated from what I actually want. Um, mm, okay, fine. Let's write this up. Uh, this is gonna require some assy magic. Also, what the heck? 
This is Ibero 5? I, I don't think I would have gotten this in the contest. Is there like... Uh, it's possible there's like a better solution than what... Because I, I was just like, I'm going to bound this by the number of zigzags. Like if I can get a lower bound on the number of zigzags you need, um, then it'll give you a bound. But it's possible like there's you don't need quite something that strong because you also know a little bit about... I don't think you know that much about the connections between zigzags. Who knows? Okay. Right. Odd. The answer is um Okay, so, oh jeez, um... Half the green zigzag equals, uh... Oh, yeah, let me, let me do a flip from what's one. Uh, uh, blue and yellow is fine, okay. Zero. One. <laughs> one zero two zero uh two one three zero four one five zero six one seven zero eight one nine zero and we'll do the same for blue Oops. But we'll flip all the white coordinates. Okay, so draw green zigzag, deep green, draw blue zigzag, deep blue and blue. Okay, and then I need to shift these, so uh, for in i equals 0, i less than equal to f f 5, shift 2 times i, 0, 0, 2 times i times. Okay, and then we're gonna draw nine two times i to nine two times i plus one red. I'll emphasize it a little bit. Uh, no, 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 not a nine. I want zero. Okay. 
Okay, so, um, hmm. Four and y equals zero, y less than nine, plus plus y. Unfortunately, like the if I use a percent sign, LaTeX will get kind of my editor will get kind of confused. It's not a it's not a great situation. Um, let's see if that actually works. Uh, oops, that's the spy. Hmm, that actually worked. Okay, so that's. The construction for nine. I'm gonna make this thing not too large, and I want to put the construction for uh, okay, so should I draw the grid itself? I feel like the grid is kind of like ah, whatever, let's just draw the grid. Thank you, thank you. Start for the follow. Oh, the 18 centimeters is way too big. Okay, well, let's drop it to like 12. Okay, and then we're gonna put the construction. Here and do that. I really hope this works. Okay, and then we're just gonna draw all the diagonals. Um, for How do you do this? In like... I, guess, I, I find it's faster for me to... Uh, no. Okay, so 10 plus 2 times t... Zero to ten, two times t. These are going to be the blue ones, and then um, eight, eighteen. This is way harder than it needs to be. <laughs> Digital art, let's go. Wait, why did it crash? Oh, because I put... Oh, crap. Gray is supposed to go outside.
Okay, and then I'm supposed to draw a bunch of red crap, right? Uh. Okay, we'll, we'll do it here. Also, I think they should all be I and LT. Plus ten zero T plus ten plus one zero and plus one point five. Okay, what did I screw up this time? Why did it crash? In, oh, in E. <laughs> Come on. Uh, all right. Okay, cool. And then, well, we have some crap to draw on the side, so we're starting from 10. So I plus 1, 10, D times I plus 2, I plus 1.5. And then... Okay, finally finished drawing the fucking picture. Lost like half the viewers <laughs> to the in that process. Alright. To show the bound, compose coordinates x, y with 0 less x less n and 0 less than y less than n and color all dot um, Any point with x plus y is equal to 0 mod 2, as shown in the examples above. Imagine taking our path and deleting every um, move of distance 1, i.e. not root 2. If after doing this deletion gives us a bunch of zigzags, which are um, graph theoretic paths with of length zero or more. Or, yeah, yeah, a length one or more where every two adjacent vertices are root two apart. If there are r zigzags when this occurs, uh, let me easy actually, it implies the number of orthogonal moves was at least z minus one. So we can get a bound on the number of orthogonal moves by the zigzags will alternate between passing through black dots
we call these black zigzags and through white dots. There are Z black zigzags when this occurs, it implies the number of orthogonal moves is at least, uh, something. It's even in, no. 2Z minus 1? Hang on. What, what's the bound I get? Blue, green, blue, green, blue, 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 1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, it depends on... Okay, so, okay, fine. Let, let's just do n even. If n is even, there are at least... Okay, so the number of black zigzags ought to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, n plus 1. Proof. Uh, there are. God. Half n plus one squared black dots in odd numbered rows and half n squared black dots in even numbered rows. The difference between these is. N plus one. Since black zigzags must alternate between odd number there, there must be at least N plus one. This gives a bound of Since we know there are at least 10 plus 1 black zigzags. You know, maybe I should use blue instead of black so the colors match. You think so? Let's use blue instead of black. Um, and let's switch stream will just have yellow and it's fine. Change all the whites to greens. Two head plus one zigzags. Uh, this gives the bound for an even. So in other words, there were at least n plus 1 squared so the number in the original given path Okay, and the odd bound is, if n is odd, there are at least, uh, <sighs> Okay, and then this is the part where I get to write proof. This is use of 2008 problem 3 rotated by 90 degrees. <laughs>
Okay, the same roll. So we found both. Hence, there were a total of at least two in zigzags. Huh. You know, I should expand. Oh, wait, two n times n plus one over two is a really stupid way to write the answer. Huh? Okay, are we done? I think this is it. really hard for I barrel of five I think like this claim alone I mean it's a use of three and then you need to wrap it in all this stuff I'm so surprised that this n squared is actually optimal even for even n actually okay well that's that and you get good at typesetting like this? Well, that's why we do it live art. You can see how it's done. God, after this I have to do like that inequality. Uh, Don Miguel's token. Okay, uh, let's... I guess I should post that. Yeah, <laughs> this was the hardest problem on the exam. I'm not surprised! Uh... I was just like, wait, like, I don't- what is problem six? Yeah, that- that- there's- yeah, it's just... Wow, that was tough. How long did I spend on this? It's 9.43. We, I got very lucky that I'd seen the... Or... Oh, I had seen the use mode 2008 before, but I didn't notice uh, Warren got it first. And if it wasn't for that, this problem would have taken way longer. 